Hello everyone, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to relight dark footage. And it's very, very easy to do. I'll show you step by step. Let's just see what we got here. We've got some dark video of some soldiers doing some soldier stuff. And then I've gone ahead and relit it nice and easily. Let me show you step by step. Let's delete everything except the footage. Okay, first step, drag and drop your footage in the timeline. And then I'm just going to go forward about five seconds. And that's probably enough footage for me to show you what you need to do. So I'm just going to trim it up. Presto, the next step, go to your project panel down here and click on this new item. We're going to create an adjustment layer. Select the adjustment layer, click on OK. All right, good. Grab your adjustment layer, drag and drop it on top into video track two. OK, beautiful. Click on the adjustment layer, make sure it's there. It is there. We're now going to go to the effects panel right here and we're going to do two effects. The first one is not what you'd expect. It's we're going to do one called lighting. And of course, you know, you'll see under video effects, adjust lighting effects, but it doesn't work like you'd expect. Drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer as I've done here and presto, you'll see here that it looks like we've got a, well, we basically have got a, a spotlight and that's not what we want. So go to your effect controls panel, click on lighting effects and now most importantly click on light one there's a little uh, triangle beside it or a chevron change the light type from spotlight to directional and watch what happens presto that one thing right there and i'll just turn it on and off might be all you need to do to get this correct for you now there's a couple things you can do here in particular the intensity, you can turn it down to black if you go into the negative, and then you can really jack it up if you've got really dark footage and you're trying to like see what's there, you can go all the way up to 100. In this case, somewhere around, let's go with 30. That works pretty good for me. Also keep in mind that there's five lights here, so if you really need to get it bright, you can do it again. Just click on directional, and presto, you've got a second light, so you've got another light source on there. So in this case, we don't need it, but I wanted you to know about it. So there you go. We've gone ahead and we've made it a little bit brighter, but if you look at it right here, for example, when I move through it, it doesn't quite look right because it doesn't have enough contrast. So this is an optional step, but you can also type in brightness and contrast on the effects panel like I've done here. Drag and drop that onto the adjustment layer as well. And now what I like to do is I will just increase the contrast a little bit. I went way too far there, maybe something like an eight. And then you can adjust the brightness. So maybe like a minus two. And then if we look at what we've got here, original shot, relit and again you can always increase or decrease the lighting if you want it a little bit more go ahead and increase the intensity and that's really just about it guys thanks for watching